All right, I had such a blast yesterday and the day before doing my Seattle episodes of the vlog. Absolutely incredible, but now I'm back home, and today, once again, it's a show day. Once again, gotta load up my music stuff. I'm going over to Mission to play at Fog on the River. By the way, from yesterday's episode, maybe you'll remember that I bought a Linda Ronstadt picture disc that was sealed, and I unsealed it. <laughs> I bought it at the Pike Place Market. First of all, look at how beautiful that looks on my turntable. Gotta love picture discs. But clearly, the gods of record collecting hate me for, uh, for removing the plastic wrap on a sealed album because I took it out and it's warped. Don't know if you can tell. It's fairly warped. And when it spins, you can really tell. So that's why if you're selling vinyl, I would advise to never list uh, sealed items as mint because you can't prove they're mint because you haven't taken them out of the packaging. Nothing against the uh, Pike Place record store, by the way. Uh, they couldn't have known. Like I said, it was sealed. Uh, but the fact that it's warped is probably because it was sealed. Um, just having saran wrap uh, or plastic wrap uh, covering an album for 41 years means that over time it's literally going to very slightly kind of fold it in on itself because of the pressure of how tightly the plastic wrap is done up. So I've heard lots of stories about people buying sealed albums that wound up warped. It's also possible that even though it was unsealed, that at some point during those 41 years since that album came out, it wasn't uh, handled properly or stored properly. Maybe it was stored flat this way instead of uh, vertically. A million reasons it could be warped, but I'm not too worried. It actually plays pretty okay. And in all, in, in, in all honesty, I also have... The non-picture disc version of this album. <laughs> when it came out, you, you could get the normal version or you could pay a couple of extra bucks and get this really cool picture disc. Now I have both. We're here around back of the Best Western at the Fog on the River. It's actually a very nice restaurant. And I'm set up up on an elevated stage here in the back. It's gonna be quite a night for some rock and roll music. My favorite part about restaurant gigs is the comped food. Look how Instagrammable this is. Here's one of the first songs I ever wrote. I wrote it on this very guitar about five or six years ago. Um, This was the very first song that after I recorded it and listened back to it, I was like, that's not too bad. Kind of enjoy that, which as a singer songwriter, that's, when that happens, it's kind of an event. When it happens, you enjoy one of your own songs. And that's, this was the first song that I wrote that I enjoyed when I heard it back. And so I still play it to this day and it goes like this. Once I thought we had it all.
one of the reasons I was so excited about booking a gig here. This sign right on Lougheed Highway in Mission. I know a lot of my friends go down this road particularly because gas is cheaper in Mission so and sure enough a couple of people saw this sign and took pictures with the sign some of my friends which proved just a little bit extra uh, promotion for this gig so I'm really excited to have this here just to have my name on a on a sign like this I've uh, driven by this area many times in the past and seen other friends of mine have their names up on here so I knew when I booked this gig they'd put my name up and they sure did here's my favorite shot to get at the show my view from the mic here at fog on the river Here's my set list I designed for today's show. Rock and roll. Uh, I'm going to play one more song here. I want to thank Fog on the River for having me today. This is my first time here. Hopefully I'm back real soon. Um, you're driven by this about a million times. Never got the opportunity to come in. I never noticed how nice it is here. It's incredible. I'm going to finish off with a song that uh, I wrote just for the specific purpose of being a fun, upbeat song and shows with. Uh, it's a fun, upbeat little tune called Mirror Mirror. Thanks so much for coming and thanks so much for listening. <laughs>
Night mission. What a blast that was. All right, and that's the last show for a while. Uh, I'm considering that to be the last show of the first leg of the Once I Thought tour. Because <laughs> um, how many shows have I done in the last almost two months? Like 25? Um, and now I don't have one until my next bar gig is in two weeks, which for me is a long break. It was an amazing show. I hope I can be booked back there again soon. Uh, yeah, check out the description for a full list of all my tour dates that I have planned at this point, with more to come. And, uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching. Subscribe to this channel and ring the notification bell if you want to be notified every time I upload a new video, which will be tomorrow and every day for the foreseeable future. Uh, like this video if you like what you saw. Again, thanks so much for watching. I'm thrilled to still see some people watching these. Um, thanks so much again. See you again tomorrow.